Thank you so much for your company this morning. Just weeks ago, they were winning the squash women's doubles on the Gold Coast at the Commonwealth Games. Now they're back home and recovered in time for the Nationals. Joining us today, gold medalists Joelle King and Amanda Landers-Murphy. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. So, I don't see any medals on the table in front of you right now. Where are your medals, Joelle? Mine are en route from Australia with my mum at the moment. Did right? she commandeer them? She definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take those. I'll yeah. show them. all my friends at Coffee Group. Yeah. What my daughter's been up to. Exactly, exactly. Where are yours, Amanda? Uh, mine is at home. I just got it back from my mother, actually. <laughs> she just got home a week ago, so <laughs> she's been... We thought we were going to get to put it on and have a bit of... As take close some as photos. we can. Yeah, no, but the chat's good, though, because you've just flown in from Dubai, haven't you? I have. Jeez, you're busy. But anyway, before we talk more about what you're up to at the moment, Moment. How was it, you know, winning medals at the Commonwealth Games? You know, it's funny, it hasn't really had time to sink in. I was on a flight out to Egypt uh, literally like seven hours after my last match. Um, so it's, it's nice now coming home and doing things like this and seeing people back home that it's actually going to start to really feel like that's been done, you know. Yeah. So it's, it's just nice to be home. Because you've won, so hang on, let me just get this right. So you've got bronze in the mixed doubles, gold in the singles, as well as the women's doubles at the Commonwealth Games. That must have been an incredibly gruelling set of games. I mean, how did you, how did that all work? Yeah, I guess uh, showing my age now, I've already been to two Commonwealth Games before, so I kind of knew what to expect, but it was um, 16 matches in 10 days. So wow. that is just, you know, that's probably the limit of how it goes for squash. Yeah, because um, other sports don't have to do that sort of thing, though, do they? I mean, that was that's quite extreme. Yeah, and I think for us, it's just such a big pinnacle for our sport, you know, and to be in front of... The, the wider New Zealand community, not just the squash community, mm. is um, is a real highlight for us. And obviously with that comes a lot more media and things like that. So it's mentally it's a pretty tough week. I think physically we're all ready to... Um, you know, step Measure. up to the plate, mm -hmm. but just mentally it was a, it's a big come down, so, yeah. What runs through your mind when you win a gold medal? <laughs> um, I don't know, I mean, I think it was quite a bit of a... I don't know, a bit of a delay for us with that one because there was a call, a slightly controversial call That's at the right, end of our match. That. So um, yeah. I think it took a moment for us to sort of realise that it, it had happened. But uh, when it did, it's, it's just amazing. It's sort of, you know, your life's work sort of coming together. So. Be great. What about your <laughs> off-court network? Is that important for you? Because obviously on court, uh, you've got your, your backup. What about when you're off court? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, I mean, there's a massive team of people behind us from coaches and managers and teammates and family and, um, you know, we wouldn't be here without everyone's support. So it's, um, you know, it's absolutely amazing, not just for us to have the gold medal, but for everyone around us to experience it as well. There's been a lot of talk this year about, I guess, women becoming equal with men in terms of prize money, in terms of, you know, flying, you know, and whether they go business class or not. Have, have you felt that grow this year? Yeah, definitely. Uh, on the squash tour, it's um, getting yeah, a lot more. I'm still waiting for that business class um, <laughs> upgrade <laughs> yeah, on my flight tickets. But uh, no, no, it's, I think within our sport, you know, uh, America has become very involved with the tour and there's a lot of tournaments happening there. And there's a big movement in America at the moment for equality um, for women in business and in sports. So it's it's been a pretty huge year for squash. And I think... Um, the, the women's tour has really stepped up to the plate and th some of the matches now are equally as good as the men's so it's, um, it's exciting times for our sport. Yeah. And you get equal prize money, don't you? In, in, the in the majors. So we have like a World Series tour um, that is like the Grand Slams of tennis and uh, yeah, that's what I've just come from, the World Series finals. So it's the top eight players um, throughout the year that get to compete there and finish the year uh, with that. And with all these tournaments on, it must be a full-time gig now. Are you both sort of professional? Do you have day jobs? Yeah, no, full-time. Full full-time, full -time, um, good. Yeah, I'm, I spend quite a bit of time training in England. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a full-time thing. Living the dream. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's really interesting, though, because you said you just come back from Dubai um, and you're obviously competing, but you did a skydive as well. <laughs> so you're allowed to do that. Professional sports person, you're allowed to actually jump out of a plane. <laughs> Well, yeah, it, it was uh, kind of a spare of the moment did thing, you really. Did you before you did <laughs> <No>. it? No, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> so thanks for dropping me in it. But <laughs> no, it was, uh, you know, I'm afraid of heights, actually. So wow. that was, uh, I was meant to go the day before and I absolutely chickened out and uh, got a lot of stick and decided that I was going to do it the next day and I did it. So... I'm never doing it again, I'll say that. I'll say that. Ticked off the bag of off. They yeah. asked me straight away when I landed, so would you do it again? Absolutely not. But it's done. <laughs> so you don't get your business class flights, like, so you're jumping out of planes all the time. Um, OK, so tell us about the Nationals. So this is obviously very exciting. Can we come and watch it? What should we look out for? Yeah, I mean, um, 
everybody, you know, sort of all the top players come back for this event. Um, so it's probably one of the biggest events in New Zealand uh, for the year. So, yeah, it's free for everyone to come along and have a watch. And it's out at Henderson Squash Club. So. Awesome. We're also doing a Battle of the Sexes tonight challenge. Um, so Amanda's playing one of the boys. I'm playing one of our boys from the Com Games. There's a celebrity matchup, Jack Tame and Art Green. Um, and it's all been organised by one of our players who has become, uh, who's just stepped into a management gig. So, yeah, Perfect. it's going to be really exciting out at Squash XL tonight. I don't know who would take Art Green or Jack Tame, actually. I think probably Art Green would take oh, he's that. He's good at everything, Art Green. What he's if, one of those guys. <laughs> what about if you're a young player or you're young and you want to get into squash, what do you need to do? I mean, what's the road to it? I think, you know, we're lucky here in New Zealand that pretty much every town, no matter how big or small, has a squash club somewhere attached to a rugby club or what have you. And it's generally pretty cheap to get along and have a go. So just check out your local squash club. Um, and, and feel free to have a go. And when you're watching young squash players, what is it that you look for to think, mm, they could be the next international star? Is it skill? Is it speed? Is it footwork? I, oh, you go. Tenacity is a huge thing at a young age, you know, like not giving up, not, you know, just doing what they can to sort of... It's hard on them. the body, isn't it, squash? Yeah. I mean, it's like really brutal on the body, or it can be. It is. It's it's a tough gig, and I think following on from what Amanda said, it's kind of hard at a young age to kind of really think, oh, you know, you see some kids that are skillful, some that have the physical attributes. Um, the beauty of squash is that you don't have to have be a certain build, a certain hit the ball a certain way. Everyone kind of brings their own flair and, nice. and story to the game. So it's... Uh, it's very hard to tell too young on, but um, it's, it's nice to see when we get some young ones coming through that are good. Awesome. Spoken like true champions. Thank hey, you. Well, best of luck, best yes. of luck uh, at the Nationals, and thank you so much for joining us today. And the Squash New Zealand Nationals are being played at Henderson Squash Club in Auckland over the next three days. Enjoy, girls. Thanks so much for popping in. <laughs>